Sometimes we are afraid to reach out to someone, to show them we care, because we are afraid to make the assumption that we are competent enough to stick our nose into another person's business. Sometimes even when I deeply care about a friend and I want to show my affection for them, I want to give them value, I want to help them out, I want to be virtuous. So many thoughts come up like, how dare I assume they can't handle it themselves? How dare I assume that my care is worth anything to them? And yes, this could all be just an excuse, a farce that we kind of imagine, create in our own heads in order to avoid acknowledging that we lack the courage to face possible rejection. I remember I would hesitate to do things for another person in the past or speak up for them because I'm afraid that they think my intentions are simply to gain admiration and I wanted to be more sophisticated than them. I wanted to help them in covert ways. I didn't want to overtly express my care for someone. And largely, I think the fear was finding out that my care and my assistance is not much of value and they don't see it as so and I find out some way they think of me that I don't want to know. Besides that, we're also very afraid to burden other people with our problems, right? When we're going through something painful or we feel terrible but we don't have a valid reason for it. But deep down, we really crave kind of validation for our pain, company, but we don't dare to reach out for it because it could prove that we are not valuable, we're not competent enough to handle the situation ourselves. We don't want to burden another person. We know how much can bring down their mood. But let's say somebody you cared about went through something painful, something tough. I don't know why I said tough like that. Something tough. Let's say they went through something and they're too afraid to reach out to you because of the same reasons. They don't want to seem like they lack value to you. They don't want to make you feel sad. They know that it could affect you since you care about them and they're worried you'd have the perception that they're exploiting you for company because they're going through something. You'd be upset. You'd feel a little bit betrayed, right? Because could you not trust me in your worst moments? Am I not valuable enough to you? And ironically, it's the opposite. It's precisely because you are valuable to them that they fear reaching out to you. Because they care about how you feel. They care about how worried you would get. But you'd be upset, right? You know, was I not important enough to that person that they didn't reach out to me, that they didn't want to talk to me about it? Did I do something wrong that kind of chased them away to not trust me with their information and their emotions? And if you look at it from your perspective, when you refuse to tell somebody you care about, about something you're going through, it's not because the other person is not competent enough to handle your emotions. It's genuinely because you don't want to burden them, right? You don't want to be a drag on their life, their emotions. What would you think of yourself? How pathetic would you be if you needed to lean on somebody else as a crutch? Because we care about our relationships, a lot of us are way too afraid of letting our negative emotions connect us, which could be throwing away a lot of opportunities for us to develop our relationship further, to learn more about one another, to feel more loved and less lonely while navigating our own lives. But keeping to ourselves because we care about the other person isn't something that's wrong either, right? I'm often afraid that if I reach out to someone and ask how they are doing, if I see them sad but they're already kind of sharing their problems with another person, they already have their own group of friends, you know, my help probably won't be very valuable. What can I do to offer them, you know? Who am I? How do you know they need your care? And what if they do? But we're too obsessed and in our own heads to see that. We're too concerned with not appearing like we have bad intentions or desires to be admired or being delusional about our own capabilities to the point where it stops us from offering our assistance, from genuinely asking if they're okay. And you know, two people helping one person is better than one, right? There's space for you to help. There's space for you to show you care. But oddly enough, showing you care is kind of putting yourself in a vulnerable position because what if you find out that they don't need your care? What if you find out that you're overstepping your boundaries and nobody needed you in the first place? Very scary. But the thought hit me recently that what if they do? You know, we're so stuck in, in our own heads that we forget to think that they could actually need our care. 
And that sounds so presumptuous and, and because I'm incredibly neurotic and I'm afraid of something delusional, saying that gave me huge amounts of anxiety. Like how dare I assume that my help is even valuable. But what if they need of care? Like genuinely, I want to be able to offer my help and offer I care without being so concerned about how needy I seem, how I could be trying to get something from them, how I could seem like I'm just trying to fish out admiration and seem cool and important. There's a beautiful dynamic in not wanting to burden one another, the people you care about with your emotions, and they're afraid to burden you as well. Absolutely beautiful. And there are no absolutes to life. I'm not saying that you always have to ask for help or always have to show you care in whatever way possible, like a monkey begging for food, right? It's just something that I think we should try to lean more towards because generally being a little selfish, being willing to make the sacrifice of being seen as delusional or self-important, egocentric for being too polite, or offering too much assistance, like you're trying to get something from them. I think that leaning more towards your wishes in interpersonal relationships, being slightly more willing to burden the other person with your emotions and call them when you need them, might actually make them feel more important to you, might actually make them feel useful. You know, we want to feel that way as well. We want our friends to call us, we want everyone to be able to open up to us and ask us for assistance, we want to be reliable like that. It proves we are useful, right? So I think we might have to have that unconditional, blind, egocentric confidence that we can do that. We can call for help. And that also opens up the opportunity for them to rest easy in the thought that they could call you for help as well. Of course, there are no absolutes to any decision making whatsoever. You know, we make decisions based on the decision making framework we've been developing since we are young. I'm gonna add unconditional confidence that I can burden the other person a little bit to my decision-making framework within interpersonal relationships because I genuinely believe that that could help me build better, stronger and way more beautiful connections and way more story and lore. So that's what I'm going to do. I love you. Good luck. It's a better work.